Zigger. Where does it stop? Watch for the sign of the lollipop. Playground stop. Girls and boys come out to play. What are we drawing in the playground today? We... Oh, hello there. Well, we're drawing opposites today. That's right, opposite parts of the body. Over here, this group are drawing the top halves of the body. That's right, the heads and shoulders and stuff. And over here, this group are drawing the bottom half of the body. Yep, the legs and the feet. And I've decided to draw myself a nice face here. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Four feet, two feet, red feet, blue. Feet that are bare, feet with shoes. Feet may be different, but they're often found. Down at the bottom of the ground. That's right, that's where feet are. Wonder where the heads are. What sort of heads are there? Hmm. Hairy heads, bald heads. Heads with hats. Ooh. Heads with whiskers. Thin heads, fat. Hmm. Heads may be different, but you'll often spot. They're never at the bottom, always at the top. Ooh, yeah. OK, so there's my head finished. So let's take a look here. Here we go, take a look at that. Heads and feet, what do you think? No. No? Oh, I was a bit silly. Oh, all right then, I'll tell you what, I'll do it like that then. Here we go. Sticking it like so. Oops. Got to be very careful. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Four feet, two feet, red feet, blue. Feet that are bare, feet with shoes. Feet may be different, but they're often found down at the bottom on the ground. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, all we have to do is put that up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hairy heads, bald heads, heads with hats. Oh, uh, heads with whiskers, thin heads, fat. Oh, go on. Heads may be different, but you're spot. No, they're never at the bottom, always at the top. Well, I think I like this one, it makes me smile. I'm going to put it up. <laughs> Yes, Poppy? When is a head not at the top? Oh, I don't know. When is a head not at the top? When you're standing on your head. Do you get oh. it? When you're standing on your head. Yeah, like I get that. it. I get it. I've got an idea. Take a look at this, right? Look. Oh, oh. Drawing here are the cats. Oh, it's brilliant. OK, mm. now take a look at this. The head is at the top. Yes. And the feet are at the bottom. Yes. But all you have to do is turn it round. <laughs> yes. And the head is at the bottom. And look, the feet are up in the air. Oh, yes. Dave. Dave, we want to make some opposite pictures too. Yes, mm. but our pictures are going to be hot and cold pictures. Yes, and we've got lots of bits and pieces, but we've got to decide what goes mm. where. Mm. Ah, right, well, let's take a look. We've got a blue paper here, we've got the white paper here, so the blue paper should be the hot picture. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the blue sky. Mm -hmm. And then the white paper could be for the cold picture. Mm. Yes, it could be a place. Oh, covered in snow. Yes. All right, well, let's start with this one. What's this one, you two? Snowman. Snowman. That's oh. right, Luke. And a snowman. We'll put it there. Well done, Lou. Now, who should we put next door to it? I'll tell you what, if I reach around there, Laura, we'll put this girl next door to the snowman so it looks as though she's built it. What do you no. think? No. Oh, what's the matter? She's wearing a swimming costume. Oh. oh she'd get very cold. Yes, right. she needs to go in the hot picture. That's right. Well, that's all right. Laura's done it already. Right, well, and you see that boy wearing a scarf and hat down there? Yeah. Oh, he yeah. He looks as though he's dressed for building snowmen. Oh, well, in that's that right. case, then, Luke, mate, the I think cold. you ought to put it in. Put it in. That's right. Thank you what very much. Oh, yes. What about that sandcastle next? Yeah, Where would that go? 
Peggy. What, the sand castle? Isn't it, Peggy? Yeah. Mm. Would that go in the hot picture? Would it? Yeah. All right, then you put it in the hot picture then, Laura. Ah, that's looking really good. Now, um, what have we got left? What about the trees down there? Oh, it's the palm tree, Peggy. Well, no, not that one. No, it hasn't no. got any leaves. So where should yeah. that one go? Oh, I think Laura's already worked it out. Laura, it where is, does that Laura? go? In there. In there. In the winter, they don't have any leaves, do they? That's oh. right, they don't. OK, so... What about this tree here? Now, this tree is green and it's got plenty of leaves on. Luke, where does that go? All right, then. Laura, put that in for me. Lovely. Uh, two vans. Got two vans. They could be selling hot and cold things, can't they? Mm. Mm. They've got nothing left. They've got nothing left. Now, isn't that an amazing thing? Because, right, when no you're cold, sun there's no sun there, is it? We better put the sun in. <laughs> because when you're cold, right, you need hot food. And when you're hot, you eat. Cold food! Or well, perhaps one van is selling something that will warm him up and the other something would be selling ice cream or mm. something. Yes, to cool it down. Mm. Now, here's someone who goes out into the cold and gets really hot. Now, let's see if I can stay up. Move a bit. Yeah, no. Oh, oh, it's a bit wobbly. Oh, my feet. Oh, oh, hang on. I think I'm going to. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, that hurt. I can hear some noise. Oh! This ice is tough stuff. What's that? Oh! It's an ice hockey puck. And it landed very close. I wonder if it belongs to them. Well, only one way to find out. Hi guys, is this your park? They don't look friendly. Well, there's the park anyway. Well, they're having a great game. But there's nobody in goal. It could be. Whoops, I'm in trouble. Coming to help. That's good. That's it. Push my feet up and get me over the fence. Wow. Thanks, everyone. Let's go and play some hockey. Everybody ready for the opposites game? Yeah! Yes. Are you ready for the opposites game? Of yes. course you are. Well, what happens is this: Peggy tells us to do something, mm -hmm. and we all do it. And when Poppy shouts, opposite, we then have to do the opposite. Yeah, I'm very good at shouting. Opposite. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Yes, you most certainly are. Yes. Peggy, can you just start one for us, please? Um, right. Well, put your arms up. Right, everybody, put your arms up. That means opposite. That's it. Go on. That's right. So what's the opposite of that? Oh, yeah, they've done it already. Arms down by That's the sides. Mm. I think we're ready to play the game now, yeah. so get right. ready to play. Right. Let's start, then, with mm -hmm. feeling cold. Right. Oh, feeling cold. Right, everybody feel cold. Oh, imagine you've gone out into the garden on the winter's day and you forgot your coat. <laughs> opposite. So what's the opposite of cold? Hot. That's right. So everybody be hot. Go on. Yes. Ever so much hot. Mm. Yes. Could really do with a nice cold ice lolly. Mm. Now, mm. I want you to be tall. Right, everybody be tall, right? Stretch up as tall as you can. Yep, you try it too. Ooh. Opposite! Right, 
the opposite of tall is. That's right, so everybody get really small. As small as you can. Oh, oh, smaller than me. All right, you can get up now. Oh. Now I want you to do something fast. Something fast? Something fast. Yeah. Right, in that case, everybody run on the spot really quickly. Go on, on the spot, ready. Right. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's it, that was great. Hey, look at Luke and Luke. Hey, come on, stay still. Just hold the Right, OK, what's the opposite of fast? Stop, no. That's right, it got slow. That's a move around really slow. Slower than a snail. Slow. Opposite! Oh, quick! Got one quickly, that's it. Yeah. Now, oh. I'm absolutely exhausted, me. Exhausted? <laughs> you know, exhausted. Very tired. Oh, that's an opposite, too. Having lots of energy is the opposite to feeling tired. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. And do you know something? There are going to be lots of opposites in today's story. Oh. In fact, it's all about a girl called Peggy. Would you oh, like to be oh. Peggy, Peggy? Oh, yes, I'd love to. I already am. <laughs> oh, that's all right. And I also need some children to help me. Will you help me? Yeah! Oh, brilliant. Get ready for today's story. Great. Oh, oh. The story is called Peggy and the Opposite Day. When Peggy looked out of her bedroom window one morning, she saw that it had been raining. Hooray! She pulled on her Wellington boots and went outside. Splash! Peggy splash, jumped splash, into the biggest splash, puddle that splash, she could find. Splash, 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 but then, splash, as she splashed, splash, an odd thing splash, began to happen. Splash, 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 the sun splash, peeked out from behind the clouds and began to shine. And as it shone, the puddles got smaller and smaller until there was nothing left but squidgy mud. Where's my puddle gone? Next door, a man was hanging out his washing. The washing was wet and heavy and dripped on the grass. But as the wind caught it, the dripping began to stop and the washing began to get lighter. This is odd. First the washing was wet, now the washing is dry. On the other side of the fence, there was a paddling pool. Children were splashing about and getting really wet. Their hair was wet and shiny as they pushed it back out of their eyes. When they'd had enough, they got out of the pool and began to run about. And as they ran, they got drier and drier. It's like the puddles and the washing. First they were wet, now they are dry. Just at that moment, Peggy felt a large drop of water fall on her nose. Ooh. Looking up, she saw the sun had disappeared and the sky had become dark. Soon, it was raining hard. The children began to run indoors, but they were already soaking wet. Next door, the washing was no longer blowing lightly in the wind. It was hanging wet and heavy again in the rain. Then, Peggy looked back at the garden. There in the middle, was the huge puddle she'd had so much fun in. Hooray! First it was wet, then it was dry, and now it's wet again. Right, here we are. Left, right, left, right, left. Oh, the grand old chick of your... Oh, yeah. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. Ooh. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, everybody, I think it's now time for us to do it slowly. So you get ready to march slowly too. Here we go. Ooh, march over so slow. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up, ooh! And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, everybody, I think it's now time for us to do it quickly. You think we should march quickly too? 
Of course. Oh, look, they're doing it right now. Oh, I better keep up. Here we go. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. Oh, he marks them up to the top of the hill. And he marks them down again. And when they were up, they were up. Oh, and when they were down, they were down. And when they were up, they were up. They were up, they were up, they were up. All right, everybody, halt. That's lovely. If you're up, right, come over here. Come on. Over here, over here. Because I'm going to need you to help me out. Not just yet. Not just yet. Not just yet. I want you to take a look beforehand, though. We've got here all sorts of rough and smooth things that we're going to be using for a picture. Now, do me a favour. That orange you had in your hand, was that rough or smooth? Think about it. Smooth. It's smooth. That's right. What about this comb here? Is that rough or smooth? Smooth. Um, smooth. Smooth. I don't think so. Those knobbly bits there. If you rub your hands across them, it's quite rough, really. All right, time now for us to make this picture, OK? So the first thing's first. Right. Take hold of that. That's lovely. You take that. All right, get ready. First of all, lay that big green cloth out, you two. That's it. Bring it back over here. Right, and once you've laid out the cloth, I'll tell you what, I'll help you with that. That's lovely. OK. Right, that's lovely. Right, pull that down. Right, who's got the castle? Oh, somebody's on the castle here. No, it's all right. I've got the castle right here. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, right, we lay that out here. Right, who's in charge of the oranges? Me! Right, we'll put the oranges on the big green cloth then. That's lovely. Right, and have you got the flowers there? Right, put the flowers on. Okay, I'm going to put these on. And if you two can start making the sun, that's lovely. Here we go. Right, another one there. And. Another one there. Okay, I think that's almost it, actually. All right, if you put them the other way up, they look like trees. All right, where's the sun? Um, <laughs> right, if you put them like this, get ready, like that, and that, and that. OK, that's it. Everybody stand away. Come over here. Let's see what it looks like. Come on. Have you almost finished with the flowers? No, not quite. No problem. Tell you what, come over here. Give them to me. No, it's all right. It's all right, Jesse. I've got it. There you go. Just like that. Just like trees. That's right. Loads of trees. OK, everybody come over here. Everybody come over here. Oh, right. Take a look at this, everyone. Can you see what we've built? Yeah. Yeah, it's the Duke of York's castle and the sun is shining. No, oh, that makes me feel really happy. Mm. Oh, well, there's the bus bell, so it means it's time for all of us to go. Oh, that makes me feel really sad. Oh, there's another opposite. <laughs> First of all, Poppy was really happy and now she's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's no need to be sad because we'll be back in the playground again real soon. Oh, oh I'm happy again now. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.